I have a user task on the canvas here called Rework Document that is part of a document review process. This task is assigned to the workflow originator with the intention of having that person make changes to a document that was sent back for rework by a group of document reviewers. In this user task, we want to set up an email reminder to fire after a certain period of time to remind selected individuals that the user task needs to be actioned. Within the user task, I'll select the Reminders tab to open up that configuration area. On this tab, you have the ability to pick the type of action that should occur if the task is not completed within a timely manner. You can have an email reminder sent or even redirect the task to another person if necessary. I'll select Email Reminder for this lesson. You can also select both options or add multiple email reminders if necessary. This is in case you want to send a couple different reminders at different times, then maybe redirect the task to a manager if it doesn't get action. Next, we can configure when we want this email reminder to fire. It can be after a certain period of time, on a specific date and time, or before a deadline. I'm going to select after for this example, then enter seven days for this reminder so that the user essentially has a week to action the task from the moment the task starts before the reminder email is sent. You can refine this to hours and or minutes as well. Perhaps you have a need for this reminder message to be sent out in a repeat pattern. To set this up, you can click on the repeat reminder icon in the lower left of this section, then enter a number here, or you can even toggle it to be infinite so that it will repeat every seven days indefinitely. Each reminder option has some different settings here, so be sure to review the user guide for this workflow step for more information. You can also use other dynamic context reference fields if you want to pass in values for these settings, say from an item reference or a smart object data source. Moving on, I want to edit the email message and add some workflow context information to it so the user knows which task we're reminding them about. For the subject line, I'll enter in task reminder four with a colon, then open up the context browser by clicking on the context icon in the upper right corner. Select the workflow tab of the context fields toolbox. In here, we have access to reference fields for all kinds of information about the workflow and task. I'll open up the workflow group and drag the folio over to the end of the subject line. Then for the body of the message, I'll drop in some text basically stating to be sure to make the necessary updates to the document for this task, then send back for review or cancel it. I'll also add workflow task context information like the start date of this task assignment and maybe the participant's name. You can configure this message with as much detail as you need based on your requirements. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'll leave it at this. So basically when this message fires after seven days without being actioned, the person meant to receive it will see a message like the following based on what we just configured. You can use this capability to send messages out to workflow originators, task recipients, or even managers of designated individuals based on your needs. You can review the user guide for more information on this capability, including how to set up redirecting a task.